What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last MTSU video, we took on Louisiana Monroe, and we barely scraped by with a victory. Our tight end saved the game for us, had a, just an amazing game. I threw way too many t interceptions. We also had a couple fumbles to go with that. We're very lucky to have the win despite all of the mistakes that we made. So today we're taking on Louisiana Lafayette. They run a balanced offense and a 4-3 defense. And this will be a little bit of a tougher challenge. As you can see here, we still got a little more talent than they do, but they are playing a lot better than Louisiana Monroe. Uh, they're not great at anything, but they're not terrible on offense. So it's like they're at least doing something. Defensively, it looks kind of rough. Their pass defense looks pretty bad. Hopefully we can exploit that. And they're one of the worst teams in turn of turnover differential. <laughs> We're not that great either. Okay, let's go to recruiting. See if we need to make any adjustments here. We're still down to these three guys. Somehow Pedro Thompson is keeping us in it. We're not putting any points on him, and we're barely just going down the list. So it almost makes you feel like we had a chance of maybe getting the guy, but I think it's I made the right decision on just cutting ties with him. We look at uh, this guard. Finally, Jermaine Medley is ready to take a visit. We'll have him come for the Ford Atlantic game. And looks like Matt Carter, the tackle, is ready to take a visit as well. So we'll have all three of these guys come for the Ford Atlantic game. It's going to be huge. It's going to be our biggest game of the season, to say the least. So let's go back up to Medley, see if anything has changed. For whatever reason, we can't get any information from him, and I don't know why. Matt Carter, we're getting some information, just not a whole lot. And we all know about the quarterback, Alan Upshaw. We feel really strong about him. Good news is we're at number one for all three of these guys. So I think we have a chance of getting maybe two commitments. If we're lucky, we'll get all three. Let's go to ESPN the magazine. Uh, BCS rankings. This isn't going to pertain to us, but I'm just curious to see who is where. Auburn, Miami, Arizona State, Notre Dame, Oklahoma. That's a... USC, Texas, like I said, none of this really affects us. Uh, Heisman Watch, I wonder if that linebacker is still doing his thing, and they finally took him off the top five, uh, out of the top five. Graham Harrell, Tim Brown, Kyle Wright, Jamarcus Russell, and Antonio Pittman all having their good seasons. Good for them. Okay, let's go to conference standings and check out the team info screens. Let's start off with us. Looks like... If you, this is actually pretty interesting. The conference standings is going to be a tight one. Arkansas State, Ford Atlantic's doing really well so far. Troy, four undefeated teams. But we're all barely into the conference season, so there's a lot of games left to be played. Looks like Louisiana Monroe is 0-4. Lafayette is 0-1. Let's go to our screen. Marks is having a good season. Gross is doing his thing. He didn't get to play last game because he got in trouble. It was a minor offense, but that gave us a chance to take uh, that discipline bar down a little bit. Uh, we could have used him in the last game. We probably would have won by a couple more touchdowns, but that's okay. We was able to get the victory. Ingram is still leading receiver, and Rainey is doing his thing on the defensive side of the ball. Now let's check out Louisiana Lafayette. Looks like they got a corner out for today's game. Their quarterback is just doing okay. I mean, in terms of touchdown to interception ratio, it's nothing special. They got a running back averaging over 100 yards a game. I'm guessing he's probably an impact player. And their recent game was a loss to Fort Atlantic. Not a whole lot on the receiving end, unless they're just spreading things out pretty evenly. And... Defensively, that doesn't tell me a whole lot there. They got three guys just doing a little bit of everything. Okay. Like I said, what we saw before, their defense hasn't done much all year. With that being said, I think we're ready to take on Louisiana Lafayette. They're going to go all red. I think I may do the all white, the Stormtrooper look today. We can go alternate two. I think their default... Uniform is all red. I could be wrong. I hope it is. It'll be a nice contrast. We're 65th in the country. They are, looks like, 71. 74, maybe. It's one of the two. Uh, 
All right, looks like we're gonna have some good weather. I, I, from what I can tell, it looks cloudy though. I don't see rain. Eh, we'll go. It don't really matter. There's no wind. Uh, let's go to their depth chart and see what we're dealing with. Impact quarterback. He can he can run a little bit, soaking his back up. So I'm not going to blitz him much. He'll just run away from it. We'll keep everything in front of him. Let him try to nickel and dime us down the field. And they got an impact running back, as I suspected. 92 speed. So this is going to be a challenge. Like I said, anytime you got at least one impact player in the backfield, it could be a challenge, and they have two. Looking at their receivers, like, wow, they got four guys that are all about the same. I wouldn't mind having a couple of these, especially like this kid right here. 92 overall speed, not bad. Tight end, I don't expect too much from these guys. Look at their offensive line. Just looks like everybody's in the 70s, except for this guy right here. Their right tackle's pretty good. Looks like the best player on the team, or at least on offense. Like I said, they run a 4-3 defense. Got an impact defensive end. Uh, de defensive line is just okay, though. 76. Oh, they got some bad issues at middle linebacker. Okay. 72. Yeah, their linebacker unit is just not good at all. So it's their number one corner out today, but it's not a huge drop-off. 74 behind them from both guys. That still doesn't help them. Not a bad free safety. He's not very fast. And nothing as strong safety. I think it just comes down to try to contain their two impact players in the backfield. And us not turn the ball over. You know, that's been our biggest issue to, uh, in some of our close games this year. We're going to try to kick away from their impact guy. Good stop there. Now, I don't know. We'll just do quarters for now. According to my scattering report, looks like they run a balanced offense. So, I don't know how much running and passing they will do. Pick up an easy first down there. So, that's a run. Uh... Let's do a one high. I know they're going three wide, but I want to see. How balanced they're going to get. I just got annihilated. Really get a yard out of that one, so it's okay. Uh, I'm not going to bleed, so we'll just go back to quarters. I love that off-tackle, halfback weak look. Just a bad throw there. Now it's third and ten. We can... Yeah, I guess I'll stay in 4-3. I'm going to send three. Intercept that. Overthrew it, thankfully. Now, one thing I need to think about, uh, is he a righty? Let me go back and check this. Yes, he's right-handed, just making sure. All right, that's a good stop. Let's see if we can get the ball. And do some things on offense. We are full strength. This is like the first game we've been at full strength offensively in several games. I'm going to fair catch that. Uh, let's go here, and we'll do this. Now let's do one of our staples, tight end corner. Dr. Going Man. Sister Going Man, I don't know. Yeah, let's get our best player the ball out of the gate. Ah, good little run. We're going to go, or good little play there. PA boot, inside counter. I need to run some of these. I, I forget that they're in here. Blinker curl. They're going man 5-2. Sister going man 5-2. Uh, 
Good little run there. Good little pass. I don't know why I keep saying run. Just a good man beater. The corner was way off of him, so we had a really good chance of getting some points or getting some yards off of that one. Let's go. Let's run the ball. Let's do counter lead. Let's see where that takes us. Looks like we're doing an under front. I may. Ooh, no, I don't want to do that. Interesting setup there. How they shift. I like that. It's a it's a change up from 06. Get a block there. Here we go. Great run. Good play there. So we are on the left hash. I want to... We can go here. Curl halfback swing. We'll just stay in curls. Let's see. Looks like we got an advantage at corner on the left. We're going to do our slide protection. Pretty sure they're going man. That's a weird setup defensively. Just don't turn the ball over. Good deal. So we are on the goal line. We can... I feel like I may need to change up strong tight with something else. Because uh, with Tosh Strong, you can't flip it. If I'm not mistaken. Nope, you can't do it. Yeah. Just a bad play. Uh, middle of the field again. Uh, I may... I'm going to... run toss again. Normally I would pass in this situation, but I think I'm going to run the ball. I'm not giving up on that toss. So what happens if I move this guy over? Did they shift hard? Not bad enough. That's good defense. Yeah, good defense. So it's third and goal. I probably need to... Uh, put our tight end in there. Let's do curl flats. Now, the last time I called this play... Oh, they're going zone. Last time I called this play in this situation... I threw an interception against, what was it, Louisville? So we may not get a touchdown here. I was hoping they would have gone man. Dang it, dang it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's fourth down. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, we're on the one. I'm going to go for it. This may be really dumb, but I'm on the road. I want to score a touchdown. Didn't get it. Dang it. I had, I mean, I'm not going to go for a field goal in that situation. I want to score six points, and I didn't get it. Well, that's not what we wanted. Maybe we can get a safety. That'd be nice. Ah, oh, dang it. Man, so close to a safety. And they're going, let's do 46. I got to figure out what to do goal line wise. I need to. I'll figure it out. Ah, I was able to get the stop there. So it's third and three? Third and four? Oh, jeez. Um, I'm going to do. I think they're going to run the ball, so we're going to go with a one high. Great stop. All right. So they're going to punt it. We're going to go all out block. We may look out and somebody can block this thing. We're going to get good field position. I just need to practice my goal line stuff. I don't have that gimme ace big twins formation to bail me out in those situations. And eh, let's just, yeah. He's no reason for him to get hit. Uh,. We're on the right hash. 
Let's do flanker curl from ace big. Back to man. I'm going to hot rat him to a go. Just a little bit easier to work with. Almost picked off. That was kind of risky. I think I threw it a little too late. There's a... Let's do counter trap. I'm loving these pull and plays. I just I like experimenting with them. I wonder what happens if I move this guy over. Nobody moves, does much of anything. Except we get annihilated. Eh, somebody came through. Well, let's do split in drag. They're going man. <clears throat> Probably go to somebody on the left. I'm going to leave the protection as is. They went cover zero. Hopefully we can get a touchdown here. Great play. Nice. I didn't know what they was going to... Normally they don't do call cover zero against that play. But they brought both safeties, so I just went to the simplest cover zero beater we had. Perfect throw. Right where it needed to be. We have an advantage, a, a matchup advantage on the outside. Their corners aren't good enough as our aren't as good as our receivers. So I think we can keep exploiting that. Their back, well, their defense in general is not all that great. I'm moving the ball pretty easily on them. So I feel like I can do whatever I want besides running. We're struggling running the ball. We may do some basic runs on the next drive. Go with the slam. See if that works. And I forgot that he's going to touch the ball. That's a good stop. Ooh. They're running the ball a little bit more now, so I'm going to go back to one high. Oh, they're going with a close formation. I love it. Oh, they went with an end around. Awesome play. Awesome. It's the wide receiver end around. You got... I think I finally got this working. You got... Well, let's use this right here. You got this guy coming around off the play action. And this guy's going to fake it to him. And then, I, I don't know, if this guy's running a post or something. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Anyway, it's a little serious in that particular formation where you can hand it off. You can hand it to him. Or you can do the play action, which is what this is. And that should have been a sack. That guy just whiffed on it. Goofy play. I don't know. This quarterback, I just he's very fortunate that wasn't a fumble. But look how wide open he is. That's going to be a, a very fun little series to work with. I want to try that out one day. I may throw that in my playbook. I just have to... I'll have to think about that. But I thought that was pretty cool nonetheless. Let's go under. That's eye close. There's a strong close formation. Yeah, that's what I want to see. My safety ain't coming down. That's a good play. Fumble. So, did he fumble because he just got hit or what? I can't really tell. Um, they don't do rinse the replays very well in this game. Let's do deep comeback. Or go in zone. I'll stick with this. I should be able to complete this to the comeback. I am... Let's spread it out. There we go. Just pick up the first. Let's do a basic run. Let's do slam. Let's see if we can get something out of it. Going zone. Their brother, brother shifting that way. We'll just go to our left. Try to be as patient as I could. Pick up, what, five there? Four or six yards? And that's going to be the end of the quarter. Six seconds. I'm not going to be able to get this off in time. So we'll let the clock run out. All right. First quarter's done. We should be up two scores, but we're only up one. But we're fixing to get in the end zone again. Let's pick a formation we haven't called from yet. Go strong normal. Uh, 
Uh, let's do a curl halfback swing. Again. Going zone. It's a hard shift to the right, so we'll do the same. Ooh, somehow we got the first down. <laughs> had one last juke at the last second. Got us there. Um... I don't know if they are going to go goal line. They're not going to. I think it's five yards in. Okay, that's which is fine. They're going zone here. And we're going to get six points out of it. Didn't make a difference. We caught the guy off sides. Great blocking all around. We're going to decline that, of course. They went zone. I'm definitely going to my right because everybody, their brother shifted to the left. But just great blocking. Remember, we got to remember, zone, try to get up the field as best you can, get vertical as soon as you can. And there's just a big hole right here. Looks like they went cover two. The corner got tied up with a receiver. Good play. All right, we'll get back on defense. We'll get an extra point. Good to see the run game do a little bit better on that drive. That was my goal with that drive, is to see if we can run the ball a tad bit more efficiently. Okay, uh, let's go here, and uh, I'm going to go back to, I feel like they're running the ball more than passing, so I'm going to stick with my original plan. We'll do our shifts. It's a good stop there. I, I got to preserve these instant replays because I just don't get many of them, because one of them may be a great thumbnail for the video. Uh, let's do quarters. Let's see if they're going to throw. I got my bump and run on the corners. Good pursuit, Al. Just good angles all around here, being patient and trying to get around that block. Third and seven. They're going with a bigger set, so I can do the same. We'll go cover three. I'm going to hot route my defensive end on the right. Just got all day to throw wide open. Wow. Yeah, wide open. Uh, they're going with a big set. Let's, let's do SS fire out of 46. I kind of wish that safety would get closer to the line. That's a good play call. They went tossed to the blitz side. I'm going to go back to quarters. And I might have to do quarters for third down. They just don't have my cover six in here anymore. Or my whatever, you know, some people think, don't think it's cover six. But it looks very close to a cover six. My. Oh, somebody make a play. Except for that guy. Overshot it. Good deal. Cover three cloud. That's what it's called. Third and 16. I'm going to do quarters. It's going to take a lot for him to get 16 yards, so I'm going to go after him. I'm going to control this guy because their right tackle is really good. And, ooh, he broke the tackle. Wow, what a play. Intercepted, though. He tried to make something happen, and it just didn't work. I would like to do play action. I'm trying to think. Do I have... We can look here. PA scissors. Let's flip it because I got a lefty. He should be a little more efficient with it. They're going man nickel. He's coming down. 
Ooh, that's not. Ooh, we're gonna get some yards out of it. Fullback, he's not very good. He's a decent man beater, but we're very fortunate. Something bad didn't happen there. Let's do angle post from wide trips. They're going man. I may just hot route or tight end to a go. It's a little bit easier. And I may leave the protection as he is. Interesting play here. Now, they went cover zero, or they went man. So I was either going to go to my tight end on the go or that out route on the far right, which I did. Their impact player destroyed my right tackle, so I didn't have much time to get, you know, the playoff. Thankfully, I made time of moving over to my left. That's a good little thumbnail right there. I may leave that one as is. Okay. I may have to create my own thumbnails off of little situations like that. We're on the right hash. Let's let's try to... I want to see if I can run up the gut. They're going zone here. I wanted to spread them out. 10 for 10. Jeez. I'm going to run to her right. See if I can get up one of these gaps. Ah, man. He was just right there. Super close for this being a humongous play. If we if that right guard would have held his block, I had some blockers right there that we could have done some damage. Just couldn't do it. So it is second and eight. It is uh, scissors. Let's just go back to curl flats. We're going man. We'll go to one of the curls, but I think it may hot wrap my tight end to a go. He hasn't got to touch the ball yet. They're bringing everybody. Oh, good catch. I didn't know what to expect there. He didn't get a good leverage on the on his defender. That's good tight coverage, but the throw was just right where it needed to be, and that defender didn't try to bat it down or anything. Uh, let's go back here. I want to go try counter again. They're going man dime, but it looks like I have no choice but to go left. Huge play. Let's break all this down. Be patient with your blocks and you can get decent yards. So we're countering to our left. We're pulling guard. We got the fullback. Had a great block there. Forced that guy to the outside. So I'm cutting in. Then this my pulling guard picks up. No, he didn't pick up him anybody at all. He's just too slow, which that's going to happen. But at this point, it's a, a, it's a successful run play. Then you just got to, you know, make good plays after this. And I got an impact running back who can shrug people off. Just a great run all around. Okay. That was good to see. Uh, I am going to try to toss. We're going to do this from I normal. But I'm doing this because I can go back and forth if needed. So, like, they shifted right there. I can do this. And it may not matter. No. That's just good defense. It's something to experiment with and it didn't work. Oh, uh, at least we're on the six. Let's do something really quick. Let's go tight end corner again. They're going zone. And they're good. They're going 4-3. This is going to go to Williams. Six points. All right. We're slowly taking, a, you know... Control of this game. That's just my one simple zone beater to the left. I, I do have to remind myself, I need to run more plays like that where we got a flag route from our tight end. I just forget to do it. Because if we were like 10 yards back, like on the 15-yard line, then that'd be like a perfect play against cover one, maybe or cover zero to hit that tight end on that flag slash corner route. We'll get to do that eventually. Kick away from their impact guy. Nothing there. Biggest thing today is... No turnovers. Makes a difference when you are playing clean football.
Guess we'll leave it all as is. Play action. It's a good catch by, I guess it's one of the tight ends. Now, I wonder if they're going to... They call a timeout. So we're going to just team. I'm, I'm okay with that. They love using the bigger sets. Like I said at the beginning, they run a balanced offense, which told me they are not... You know, they got a lot of two wide sets. More than usual. They're not very spread. They've been too wide a lot of the day. Good little throw there. It's 13 inches. I'm going to go back to 46 bear. What other one highs do we have? Not many. I'm going to go back to the SS fire. And what I may do. I'm going to flip it. And have that blitzer coming off the strong side. Or off the field side, I should say. Ooh, out of bounds. He may have got a foot in. We're not going to contest that, of course. <laughs> so that gives us a minute to play with. Can we get down the field in time? We're going to have to start going deep. Might have to start thinking of some plays to do that. Normally we don't do a lot of that. Now, I wish the pause control worked, but it just doesn't. I may get a touchdown here. Ah. So I'm curious to see what happened. I, I was told that the third person camera tends to work better in terms of actually having decent gains on kick returns and punt returns. I forgot about that up until this point, so I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and try it here. You got no choice on punt returns because you're stuck with a third person camera. You can't turn it off like on kickoffs. So I was just curious to see what, what it all looked like. We just outran that dude. We had great blocking everywhere. So that's what all that is. And that guy was the one who made the tackle there. Um, it's a good little run, so that helps. We're on the 20. I want to go back here. Back to split in drag. I just love this concept. This, the spacing of the rounds is incredible. We scored a touchdown last time we called this play. I'd love to then go cover one. I want to see if I can get that tight end on the, in the corner. They are going cover one. Very fortunate that wasn't a fumble. Everybody and their brother got destroyed on the offensive line. Both tackles just got annihilated. I should have went. Because of that, I should have went to this guy right here. And that was my fault. So what I'm going to do is call the same play. They're going zone this time. I don't know what that safety is going to do there. This will probably go to somebody over the middle. Henry or Williams. I threw that way too early. That was my bad. I'm going to call a timeout. It's third and one. Uh, we are there. Let's go team. Uh, I'm going to do... I'm going to run it. They're going zone. Probably need to throw this. Uh, just get a block. Just get a block. There we go. Ooh, good hit. I should have went out of bounds. I'm on the five. I'm going to call the same thing. Their impact guy is not... Out there. That's... Yeah. <laughs> that's not going to work against certain plays. That's for sure. We're going to do a curl halfback swing. The clock is going. They're going zone. I'm going to leave the protection as he is. Yeah. We got out of bounds at least. Uh... Third and goal. Last time. Oh, geez. Uh, I want to try something. Let's go. Let's put our, our backup fullback in here. I'm going to do fullback over. This may be completely dumb. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to flip that. And why did you pop up on my screen? Dang it. <laughs> I completely forgot. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. So that backs us up to the seven. Well, that's not what I wanted. 
I wonder... We'll go curl flats. That's my fault. My fault completely. I was fooling around too much pre-snap. I was fixing it. Somebody came through. Left tackle got annihilated. Right tackle got both of my tackles. Just and I let the computer handle the back drop or the back the drop back on it, and it didn't help. So we'll kick a field goal. So the jump the snap is messing us up a little bit today. Not a whole lot. I mean, we're up three scores. Now we're up four, technically. Or no, technically three. If you want to count three two-point conversions. Nine seconds? We'll survive this nine seconds, and then we'll get the ball back in the third quarter. Thought he had a chance there. Now it's down to five. Let's just do quarters, keep everything in front of us. I, they're probably going to run it. Pull back over. That's the play I was trying to call earlier, and I just goofed up on it. And they call the timeout with one second. That makes a ton of sense. So... Uh, I'm going to do too high man. I don't know. I mean, they're trying to do Hail Mary? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get around this guy. Or we can get a sack. I'm surprised he was able to get around their best tackle. All right, 24 to nothing. It's about as clean as the game we've had so far. 256 yards. Their offense is terrible. They just can't get anything going. Uh, everything's going right except for our goal line. We just can't. I got to figure that out. I will eventually. It helps that they turned the ball over twice. We probably up by 10 if it wasn't for that. Uh, but everything's looking pretty good. I'm going to check my run numbers here. Only 42 yards. I'm going to see if we can get that up. Because if we go back, our uh, play calling's been fairly balanced. 12 and 16, but... We're just doing a whole lot better in the passing game. The Louisiana Lafayette Range of Cajuns will be kicking off to start. So we'll get the ball back and see if we can go right down the field and score again. I'm gonna leave this as is and see how well the blocking does. Ah, just couldn't get around. Uh, where are we? We are on the left hash. I'm trying to think of plays I haven't called. Uh We'll go slot corner. We haven't called this play yet. They're going man. They're doing that. Uh, let's do Henry on a go, just to be safe. Pick up the first there. Those curl routes are just great, if you can time it right. I'm going to go here, and let's do... Let's do a halfback off tackle out of pro. I don't know what to expect here. I don't usually call this. And we're going up against that the defensive end on the right. He got blocked pretty well, though. Good little run there. That's quick. Good deal. Let's stay here. They got a fullback dive. I wish that was a like a fullback counter. Curls. We'll probably end up going back to flanker curl. Going man. Uh, we're going to spread out our... Almost got sacked. Man. Defensive end, that dude's tough. I mean, he's destroying every one of our tackles. So I had to get the ball off quick. Just enough. Thankfully, our quarterback's not dead yet. He's taking a beating today. Uh, let's... Hmm. I want to try. Pull back over. They're going man. Which I'm happy with. Not a big fan of that guy being on that side of the field, but that's okay. Nothing you can do about that. 
but we're gonna get some decent blocking and he can't catch me so we're gonna stay in this formation we're gonna do x dig z whip and we're going man i really hope i'd love to hit my tight end here if possible if not we'll have to go to our dig going cover zero no, nope, that's not a very good throw. We got, we got the touchdown, but it's not where it needed to be. We'll take it, though. That's a matchup. They can't handle that. Tiny is too big and too talented for him. He should have... Let's see if I can... This may be a decent... Let's go... Let's go here. He should have thrown it about like right here instead of like right here. But what we see here is he short-armed it. I, I tried to put some English on it. I wish he'd have thrown it back right here, but he didn't. But that's okay. We still got our touchdown. So our next video will be the, the next Hawaii game. I would like to get into some more non-Dynasty stuff. Like, I want to do some playbook-related things. But when you have two dynasties going at once, that can be tough. <laughs> uh, so I don't know how to handle that right yet. I'll figure it out eventually. And I pressed that button again. I keep hitting my... my I'm using the uh, Xbox 360 controller. And I keep hitting the Xbox button. At the very top. At least my recording's still going. Be upset if it wasn't. That's good defense. That wasn't the best throw either. Their quarterback's not very accurate. We've definitely seen better quarterbacks this year. I'm a little worried. Oh, I need to go up down. There we go. He's, I'm supposed to be controlling that guy. I'm glad I took him over. Made the tackle. Rainy. Third and nine. Uh, we'll go nickel. I'm going to do quarters. That cover three, I'm not. It's a hit and miss for me. Intercept that. Ah, should have been picked. Just a bad throw. I don't know if he was feeling the heat or what. But we're going to get the ball back. Just another easy play there. And again, I don't know if this is momentum meter related. I, I don't know. I do know I've been able to overcome it myself. That happened, what, a couple of games ago? Ooh. Just don't fumble it. I'm not sure. But if you remember a few games ago, I was doing great. Then the third quarter happened, and we just played terribly, and they was able to come back. And uh, Hopefully that won't happen today. We're going to do a counter trap or going man. I'll probably just end up... Like, I love the pulling action going left, but we're definitely going to go to our right. I'd love to go up the middle here. If I'd known they was going to go 3-4, went offside, so it doesn't make a difference. We're going to go, just call the same play. There they go. That's more like it. They're going zone. We're definitely going to go to our right. I don't know how this is going to work without a pulling. See, he's going to pull hard to the right in this situation. Ah, it's a good pickup off the backside. He came through. If if he wasn't there, I was going to get a huge gain somehow. We still got five yards out of it. I want to try to dive. Let's run the ball again. And they're going four three. That ain't going to help. Uh, what are my audibles? Do I have an audible for that formation? I don't audible much. I do. It's it, or it's square. I don't know. A little hot rider tight end. That may be a matchup we could go after. Guess not. Let's we'll go to Williams. I went to Williams, and here's what I've done. This may be of some use to you. Okay. So, they're going man, so I'm only going to show you what the man beaters are. Uh, We got a curl here. Got a curl here. 
and I hot routed our tight end to a go. Uh, we also have this guy right here doing that, but I really didn't pay much attention to him. What I noticed here was this linebacker after the snap. This guy right here, watch what he does. He goes out right here. I'm reading him. I want to go to my X receiver. So as soon as we snap the ball, I notice this guy is in a spy look, and he's awful close to this guy. Now, I don't know if he would have got over there to, you know, make a play, but you see right here how close he is. So if I'm reading him, I didn't even look at this corner, this curl right over here. I just knew it was probably going to be open, and I was right on it. But I just didn't want to throw to my X receiver. So I just went over to that guy. At this point, when you run enough curls and such, you know the timing. Where you don't even have to look at your own routes. Something you may want to work on. Just just learn. I mean, that's West Coast 101 stuff is knowing the timing of routes and such. And that's about with any offense. But that was very uh, emphasized in the West Coast offense was timing of routes and whatnot. It's second and 10. I want to go deep. Let's go scissors in. I haven't called this play in forever. Or going man. Now, I honestly wouldn't mind going to Henry here. And that's intercepted. Yep. And that was intercepted because I was fixing to get sacked. They blitzed off the right side. So I threw it off my back foot. And that's the case. What I probably should have done was just went to that guy. So that's just a teaching point right there for myself. Stuff for me to think about. When you're in that type of situation, I guess it helps to know what your uh, quick, you know, safety routes are. Just something you can get off quick to avoid, you know, mitigating any other type of damage. Ooh, he was wide open on the left. Ah, terrible throw. Their quarterback's awful. It, they need to run the ball here. They say... It's just bad play call on their end. They got a quarterback that can run a little bit. I'd be doing a lot of option-related stuff with that guy or just something. Get him out, roll him, roll him out, something, anything. But just running a basic balanced offense just is going to cut it. Uh, especially with this guy's arm. Third and three. They, they're probably going to run this, but I'm going to go quarters anyways. It said they was going... Okay, that looks all fine to me. Just making sure. I thought it said they was going too wide. Went counter high. Good. Went to the outside. Can you get to him? That's a good play call. I went inside. The runner went out. So we'll go back to one high. Back to strong close. So watch out for an end around... This is like Sean McVay type stuff with the Rams. Nope, they went basic counter, or that might have been a slam. I, let's go back and look. Yeah, they went counter. Uh, well, let me go back and look at that again. They might have been like a... Actual power O was not in this game. Yeah, it's counter. Just making sure. I wish it was. I think it's in some of the later games. Second and 11. I think they're going to run again. So I'm going to do a one high from Nickel. Second and 11. Who is on who? We'll do that. Ooh, intercepted. Ah, dang it. That's a good play by our impact corner, but we're on the two-yard line. So, um... We're going to go slam. I don't know what to expect here. They're blitzing both inside guys. As you can tell. We're going to go to our right. Maybe I can get one of these guys off sides. And we got a couple yards. And we got them off sides. Good deal. I didn't think I got it off in time. We're going to go first and five on the seven. Let's do counter. I think seven yards is enough where we're not going to have any safety issues. Oh, man.
Yeah, we're gonna have to go right, or go, we'll go left. Ah, dang it. I was too slow on that. I think we had a chance to make a big play right here. Great blocking. My tight end that I moved over just really shoved that linebacker back. And at this point, I'm thinking, man, if I could just get around to the outside, but I... It's just a good shoestring tackle, I guess. Okay. I want to... I want to run the ball some more. I'm just feeling like we need to run it. Let's do toss. We're going zone. I may leave it as is. I'm curious to see how the blocking will be. Good block there. Just get to the outside as quick as you can on that situation. Second and four. Let's go. X dig Z whip again. We're going zone. I want to hit this whip route. I've been calling it zig out for years and years, but I guess whip is easier to say. We're going to spread them out. Get upfield. Ah, it's not... Wasn't the best throw. If he would have caught it in stride, he would have caught up... He would have went upfield much quicker, and good things could have happened right there. Really good things. So that is end of the quarter. Williams is having a great day. We're going to let that clock roll out. I'll let my first strength finish this drive out. Uh, no, I'll tell you what. Let's not do that. We're going to go to stats and score, or we're going to go in-game strategy. We're going to go mass subs. Hopefully this will work. I was told, uh, if you remember, like, the first game of the season, we just subbed in the second team offense, and only half of them subbed in. Like, the offensive line was the only ones that were subbed in, which made no sense. But I was told if you just sub in everybody at once, both sides of the ball, it should work. So we're going to try it. And see if it works. And if not, then I'll just have to disregard this play altogether. Let's do tight end corner. I don't know what... Let's see. It didn't work. Uh, yes, it did. Okay. It did. Good deal. That's good to know. I got a right-handed quarterback. That's so weird. That, that just felt weird. So it's second and ten. That wasn't a good play. Uh, let's do counter. What well, is a bad throw? You can tell the difference. Uh, you go back to instant replay here. Just a bad throw by the quarterback. Just missed them all together. So if you go back to in-game strategy, I got a really good quarterback. It helps. I mean, that's what's, you know, he can handle the West Coast offense pretty well. I mean, he's got an 88 throw accuracy. That's more than enough to do serious damage. But it's a bit of a drop-off what you get to this guy. And I can already tell after that first throw. Ooh, we're going to go to our right. I got a speed, speedy halfback. Good block here. Did we outrun everybody? Outrun everybody. Outrun everybody. Stay in. Stay in. Ah, great run. Counterplay, baby. I love it. I, lo I wish there was the, like, Wing, I wish there was like Buck Sweep, talk, you know, Wing T. I'd be doing a lot of Wing T if that was in this game. Uh, when you got two pulling guards. I don't think it is, but I need to find that out. I need to go through the playbook some more. And I'm working on a big project on that, by the way. I'm really excited about that. That's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, let's go X post I don't think we've called this today. This is an inverted levels concept on the right with a deep dig and a dig underneath. They're going cover. They're going three, four. If I'd have known that, I would have ran up the middle. Good throw. Much better throw than last time. Let's go here and let's run counter weak. I think I could flip this. Looks like I'm not going to have to though. I think I may leave it as is. We'll run some clock. I've been studying up on the wing tee lately. I'm really enjoying what I've seen so far. I understand why a lot of schools or coaches want to run that. I had to cut up the field on this one. This was interesting. 
Normally, you want to go to the outside, but that guy blitzed right on through, so that's actually really good defense. But that also left a hole right there for me to go through. Actually, surprised it was there. Okay. Just a complete blowout. I'm sure half of ends are gone by now. Not much else to see, but here's my chance. I like to use this time to experiment on other plays that I don't normally call. So I'm going to try to do that the next couple of drives. Just pick random stuff. You know, this is, like I said, just a great way to practice. And I always forget, you got the in-game practice. Or you got the practice mode in Dynasty mode, which is incredible. I just haven't got to use it much yet. I need to. I just, I haven't really done much of practice at all with this uh, team. And with the playbook, I probably need to. Because there's probably other plays I, need, I can be calling that I'm not. So they got their starters in there some more. Don't know why. So they'll probably score easily on this drive, if I had to guess. They're going to counter themselves. Just not doing anything with it. Their running back is played better than ours. From the looks of the numbers. Kind of, sort of. Go back to a one high. I feel more comfortable controlling the safety in this game than in 06. I feel like I could do the least amount of harm to my team. Third and seven. We probably need to stay in 4 3. Let's do quarters. Third and seven. Ball on the 23 yard line. Going triple option. Ooh, great play by the linebacker. He dove right the last second. I love this triple option. This These plays work pretty well uh, if you know, know what you're doing. Good decision not to hand it off. Just basic triple option from the gun. At this point, he just... This linebacker just made a perfect play. You got to time it just right. Okay, so it's 4th and 12. We are going to... I went, I should have went all that block, but that's okay. I'll probably fair catch this, because I want to run some clock and fool around with some plays. We'll just do that. So we're on the left hash, so let's, uh, let's see what I have roster-wise. And I got my backup, he's in there. Fullback, can't do much. Uh, I think I can about call my normal stuff. I just can't go two tight ends. So, uh, let me go back to... Let me look at my wide receivers really quick. I, I got five guys, so... And you're only subbing in your top two. Um, Razor Indy. Let's do that. They're going zone, so I'll probably just go to my whip on the left. Ooh, ah, got out of bounds. Get a little play there. Let's stay in this formation and see what else we have. Slot seam, I'd, I'd like to have a short zone beater there. Flanker dry. Let's do slot ice. That looks pretty good. The spacing of the rats looks decent. So they're going zone. I'll probably end up going to either my crosser or to my halfback. We're going to leave it all as is. Pick up the first. Easy decision there. Let's just stay here. Flank or drive. I'd about have to do this in order to make it work. The only thing I don't like about this play is a lot of the rats are way too close to each other. I don't mind the drive concept on the right. But I do not like to go in that post together. I think it looks kind of goofy. Ah, dang it. So that's good to know. Uh, we have, I'll show you what I saw here. We have, this is my main zone beater. I only got one decent zone beater on this play. So that's one of the reasons I don't like it. But he's doing a, a shallow slash drag rat, whatever you want to call it. The problem is... 
he doesn't go all the way over to the left to the sideline. He stops right here, and that's we don't want that. So if you notice the drag on the right, he stops right there, and he shouldn't stop. He should keep going. If he would have kept going, look at all this room he had. So I wonder what I probably need to do. If he is not open right here, I probably need to go to my dig in that situation. I think I could have made that throw. I don't know if this guy would have gotten in front of it. Interesting. That's something i got to practice on. I need to work on drive more. I like the look of it. I mean, minus the two rats on the left. I didn't look all that good, but that's just something i got to play with, which I always enjoy doing. I never get old playing around with that stuff. Somebody's got to be open. Oh, dang it, I cut up too uh, too much. My fault, my fault. We're still not going to blitz, even if they got their backup. I, or they got their starters in there. Yeah, he, the backup's in there, but he's got 82 speed. <laughs> so I'm definitely not going to blitz on that guy. He'll just run away from the pressure. Oh, there he goes. He's a righty, so he'll more than likely run to his right. Second and 12? I'm just going to stay in quarters. Second and 12. Strong twins. If I'm not mistaken, and it is. Just a good stop. At this point, it's, you're not going to see a whole lot of craziness. Got a bunch of very below average players on the field. I don't know if I have nickel talent to make this work. We're about to find out, and I do not. I got a corner on the far right that does not need to be on the field. So we'll go back to 4 3. Ooh, QB choice. Good little play. Going to get a touchdown out of it. Really close. Like I said, this play can work pretty well. Uh, they actually ran dart. This is dart, where they got the pull and tackle. Because you can hand that off to the running back, and he can take that. Uh, dart, or uh, QB choice is the opposite, if I'm not mistaken. I think the... Uh, if it was QB choice, I'll back it up. QB choice in this game is when the running back is going this way and you got a pull and tackle going with him. QB wrap is the exact opposite. You got the guard, the tackle going this way with the halfback going that way. It's like it's meant for the quarterback to do his thing. So it's cool you got both concepts, but he read it right. That left tackle was coming in with a heat, which was going to be expected with the tackle pulling. So they're on the one yard line. We'll just go crash gold, it's fine. So we're not going to have the shutout unless something goofy happens here. Ah. I tried to contain him, just didn't work. Minute 13, we'll get the ball back. What I may do is run the ball from here on out. And maybe we try some other concepts. There's not a whole lot of mini run concepts under center that we haven't called already. Ooh, he ran it to the kicker. They will probably go onside kick. Louisiana Lafayette is lined up for the kickoff. I'll control this guy. Thankfully, nothing bad happened there. <laughs> I have a feeling onside kick is much doable in this game than in 06. Uh, like, oh, yes. Okay, so you got, you know, Ace White Trips from this particular playbook has the offset tackle as such where we can run it. Problem is, I think we're going to get annihilated on this play. Unless we... Yeah. Very fortunate to pick up the yards we did. Ooh, I'm excited. I got three yards. Well, let's go. Dive, speed, power, slam. Don't The zone runs don't work all that well in this game. 
I'm not seeing a whole lot, and I gotta pick something. So let's just go toss again. We'll run clock. Might as well. The game is over with. I'm loving toss and encounter. I'm loving these pulling plays. They work so much better. Makes a big difference. And they're not uh, cheese plays either. I mean, they're either going to work or they're not. Like, my tight end just got annihilated, so that's not going to work. So what are we, third and 13? I got to throw deep. Go split and drag again. They're going to go cover one. That right nickel's blitzing as such. And because of that, this will go to either the flag on the left or the go on the right. And we got them off sides. So that's more manageable. I'm going to go back. We're going to do drive again. Uh, no, where is driving? Where's it at? Is it in here? I think it was in this formation. Yeah, we're going to do flanker drive. Okay, they're going zone. And, oh, geez. Uh, so they're going to go to somebody on the left. Oh, this is the end of the game. The clock kept going. All right, game over. Never mind then. <laughs> All right, 38 to 7. Good win. We'll check out some stats. Offensively, everything went great. We got to run the ball a little bit better in the second half, but the passing game was spot on as usual. When you know what you're doing with the short passing concepts, it's tough to beat, especially if you got protection. Biggest thing here, uh, we had two turnovers in the second half. Uh, interception. Which is completely my fault. And did we have a fumble? I, I don't remember. It It's five turnovers. But I, honestly, I'm actually happy when it's five or less in this game. It is what it is. Uh, let's go in the individual. Uh, Marks had just another incredible game. We didn't run the ball all that well. But we got two guys that got some decent yards out of it at least. Bobby Williams, it was just his day to catch the ball, appears. You know, Gross, Ingram, or tight end, got a couple of touches, even a touchdown as well. But Bobby Williams getting two touchdowns. The go with those 152 yards, he was definitely the MVP of the game. If not, you can give that to our quarterback. Uh, just looking to see defensively, Walden, we had a McCoy and Walden get sacks. Otherwise, Nixon, our strong safety, got six tackles today. All right, let's get out of here. Like I said, our next video will be the uh, Hawaii game. I forgot who we're playing. It's kind of tough to remember going back and forth between two dynasties. But for the next MTSU game, we got the big one. Ford Atlantic, they're 3-4. and four. I mean, they're wow, they were 0-4, now they're 3-4. and four. That's pretty impressive. But now, the biggest reason why this is huge is because recruiting. We got three guys coming in. Hopefully we can take care of business and get a couple commitments there. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.